Welcome to another edition of Putting on a Better Face with me, Z Gala. I gave myself a little naming ceremony last night, so I will be referring to myself thusly. And my preferred pronouns are capital S, she, the, or the, Z Gala. Hi. <laughs> you can still call me Angel if you like. I'm not asking anybody to call me differently. I'm just changing my name internally. Welcome to the show where uh, this aging lady tries to improve on this situation a little bit, real quick. Real quick and easy like, we start with this every day, I think, couldn't be more already. And some days I do skip it, but it is amazing. How the hair grows. It doesn't do that on my head, huh? Hmm. It's like how life is, isn't it? Where we resist where we push, things persist. It's hard to say, it's like the chicken and the egg, which comes first? Do we continue to resist because of the persistence? Or is the persistence a response to our resistance? Hmm? <laughs> I know. Profound, huh? Anyway, this is a new little series that I'm playing with, and uh, I'm not sure why, but I like to, I like to share authenticity and remind everybody that we're all imperfect in our own various ways. And uh, maybe I'm speaking to my younger self, who used to make internal fun of, uh, you know, just mock a little bit in the inside old ladies who put on their makeup crooked or not that I was like ever super good at it, but I, I had a critical, critical eye. I still do. And I like to check it ongoingly because the truth is whatever we criticize in others, the universe has a beautiful way of showing us, reflecting back how silly it is to criticize others. So anyway, and maybe I help you feel better about yourself as you watch me in my imperfection. Or maybe I inspire you to spend 10 minutes putting on some makeup because it's not, it's not like it changes everything. You don't have to put on makeup to look beautiful, but it freaking helps sometimes. Just saying. <laughs> I got some weird, some weird, flaky skin. I'm a little bit ashy over there. I don't know what's going on with that. I did make a lot of progress yesterday on some work cleaning out the shed. I took some crap out my shed and put in different crap. Mmm. It's good stuff there. And we're moving up in the universe, cycling through. I've got me some a new set of Eyebrow and eyeliner pencils here. Which I found for under $5, which was good because they're like up to $10 a pack. They used to be two, three bucks not too long ago. Anyway, didn't it all, right? Used to be something else. That's kind of the point. Things change. Sometimes they change real fast. Sometimes they change real slow. But they're always changing. One of the things that changes slow in my world usually is, uh, I don't know if it changes slow, but it's been the same for a long time and I'm hoping actually for rapid change. Like a, like a fault line that builds up tension for a long time and then snaps into place. 
it is my morning attitude and routine. I'm happy to say, so I did a, a naming ru ritual ceremony. It wasn't a ritual. A ritual is something like this that you do all the time. Ceremony for the full moon and for my transition into this phase of life out of motherhood. Not that I'm not, you know, I'm still a mother, obviously, but um, my kid's grown up now. He's 28 and I'm in perimenopause, pretty soon be in menopause, 52, wrapping up age 52. And so feels like a, a good time to adopt a new name for myself officially. Kind of to remind myself that I don't give a fuck. I belong to myself, do what I want. I've managed to stay immature all these years, so there's really no point in getting mature now. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Hmm. I'm happy to say, right before I did the ceremony, I had an old friend pop up who I hadn't seen in about 10 years, and he's dealing with some heavy trauma he lost his son to suicide. And he reminded me of my healing capacity. I've been a healer off and on, or maybe always. But I kind of forget sometimes because I get stuck in my own healing process. And so it was nice that he came by and basically asked me for help and reminded me that I'm that I've studied healing a lot, that I've done a lot of suffering and healing. And in that, I have something to offer and that feels good. I guess I share that because it was yet another demonstration of how quickly s things can snap into place after they feel out of sorts for a long time. So if you're feeling stuck or out of sorts or like a lot of anxiety or tension. There's hope. It could it could all get better in an you know, in an afternoon or an instant. Not not like I mean maybe everything changes, but it doesn't have to be that everything changes externally, um, for everything to change internally. And then like yesterday I made great progress changing my external environment, getting rid of a bunch of stuff, cleaning up shifting and you know there's that direct correlation between our internal and external environments and you can change one by changing the other and it and it works in both directions in my experience which is kind of neat isn't it yes that's where we say yes it is neat gala z gala that's, you know, my official artist name. I've actually been using this name for, oh, most of the year, I think. It's relatively new. When I became, when I entered uh, womanhood, when I was in puberty, early stages of puberty, I adopted the name Angel. It's not my given name. My given name is Gabrielle. But I think it's appropriate to have some ceremonies to signify big transitions in life. I've been really processing a lot of grief for my former self, for the humanity that I knew and loved, which is shifting and shifted and recognizing that Evolution is always going on, right? It's uh, just a part of the process. The old has to die in order to make room for the new. But in my life, I got a whole nother phase that I'm really excited about, actually. I'm excited to see what unfolds. And I'm embracing the great mystery of it all the unknown potentials of it all. 
I'm gonna get some more black eyeliner. I don't like this gray, but my eyesight and brain allowed me to accidentally buy it, so I'll use it. I like the way the felt goes on, but it also comes off a little too easy, so. I'll be trying out a different kind and black. I just, just always liked the black. Probably gonna get some new lip ink soon. But for now, I'll use that as a base. <laughs> It was a time not too long ago that was way too dark for my eye, but it's interesting how the eye changes. Maybe it's a trick of the light. That's the title of a song that one of my bandmates wrote that we do in 1,000 Words, a band that I'm in sometimes. Yep, not perfect, but uh, as a friend of mine said, at least it looks like you're trying. <laughs> he meant it as a compliment. And I've got an online meeting. We're going to talk about Brene Brown's book, Atlas of the Heart, which is a good book. I like Brene Brown a lot. Do recommend. And I've been writing about... Well, I thought I was writing about emotions, but it turns out I think I was writing about feelings and emotions. So I've been sorting that out a little bit. You might find a link to that or something else interesting down in the description area. If you want to find a way to support me. And as always, I love your love your feedback, love your comments. That's, What's going on there? We'll stop. <laughs> there, uh, thanks for joining me for putting on a better face. I think that's a little better. No, it's not perfect. That's the point. It's just a little bit better. It's all right. And it's, you know, it's for me. It's for me to feel like I did it for you. It's a complicated thing, isn't it? Being human. Anyway, I think it was 12 minutes well spent. I thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for being you and let me be me. As always, I hope that you stay curious, stay courageous, stay free. Ciao for now.